comparison between Chinese and English. For many years, I have been learning English and studying English humor and Western culture, as well as American society. Now I will briefly do a little comparison between Chinese and English. A white cat, a black cat, a cat that catches mice is a good cat. My native language is Chinese. Most people would think that their native language is the best and the easiest to learn. I couldn't be perfectly objective. Welcome to discuss, criticize, and correct. Really annoying. I was about to hug someone pretty sexy when my face hit the mirror. In modern society, a Chinese speaker only needs to master 3,000 characters to read books and newspapers. 100,000 whys about cats. Chinese primary school pupils can easily learn 3,000 characters which cover 99% of Chinese characters in newspapers and books. I love learning, just kidding. It is no problem for Chinese middle school students to read the four great classics, which are classic works in the history of Chinese literature. No one can surpass my literary attainments. But in the English world, if you don't have 30,000 words, you can't read newspapers and magazines smoothly. Is the book as beautiful as me? Shakespeare used more than 20,000 words in his plays and poems. Harry Potter's vocabulary is approximately 77,000 words. Why is this so? The reason is the efficient combination of the Chinese language system. Different Chinese characters can be combined into countless word phrases. The magic is that if you understand the basic Chinese characters, then you can understand the meanings of the combined phrases in many cases. Okay, I get it. I'll pack up and get out of here. But English is not like that. A new English word needs to be coined every time it describes something new. This results in the creation of unlimited English words. There are currently over a million of words in English, and all these words can be expressed in 5,000 Chinese characters. Really? For example, in Chinese, we have character Zhu pig and Zhou meat. Then we have the word phrase Zhu rou pork. In English, pork was introduced and created instead of using pig meat. Zhu rou pork. Do you believe people when they say they want to protect the animals? In Chinese, we have character yang, sheep, and rou, meat. Then we have the word phrase yang rou, mutton. In English, mutton was introduced and created instead of using sheep meat. Yang rou, mutton. Come with me. People love to eat mutton kebabs. Here are some similar examples which show that English introduces and creates a lot of new words while Chinese expresses them in word phrases made up of known Chinese characters. 牛肉, beef. 小牛肉, veal. 猪油, lard, 羊油, mutton tallow, 牛油, beef tallow. The emergency of new things is always accompanied by new words 
such as rocket. In Chinese, we have 火, fire, and 箭, arrow. Then we use 火箭 to express rocket. 火箭, rocket. Homemade rocket. Chinese characters have a history of about 6,000 years. No matter how many new things appear, they can be expressed using a combination of 5,000 Chinese characters. The English language passed the million word threshold in 2009. Each year, about 1,000 new words are added to English language dictionaries. In the 20th century alone, more than 90,000 words have been added. Lucky for us, we only need to remember a few words, like a cat, eat. With so many words to remember, the memory burden for English learners in later language learning is much greater than that for Chinese learners. Below, we use examples to illustrate this point. Gong Yang Ram, Mu Yang Yu, Xiao Yang Lam, Gao Yang Lam, Mian Yang Sheep, Shan Yang Goat, Lin Yang Antelope, Huang Yang Mongolian gazelle, Nai Yang milch goat, Yan Yang blue sheep. Chinese learners, as long as we know the character Yang, we can almost know the names of various Yang. When we see Gong Yang and Mu Yang, we can accurately know their meanings without looking up in the dictionary. Nice to meet you. I'm pleasant goat. Hi, I'm the big bad wolf. We can also guess the meaning of Yan Yang and Huang Yang very closely. At least we can know that they are a genus of sheep because the characters have revealed this information. I guess you are the blue sheep. English learners, after learning sheep and goat, still don't know what you, ram, antelope, lamb, etc. are, and the memory burden is much greater than in Chinese. I just want to be a simple cat. Why do I have to memorize so many words? For beginners, it is true that Chinese characters are more difficult to learn than English words. But once we learn about 100 basic radicals, most characters become easy. To learn Chinese, you would find it difficult at first, but later find it easy. Once you have mastered a certain number of Chinese characters, your vocabulary will expand rapidly. I'm addicted to learning. The more commonly used words in English, the shorter they are. I, you, he, she, we are all monosyllabic words. However, single syllables are very limited. Most words have two or more syllables. In this regard, the advantage of Chinese is very apparent. Each Chinese character has one syllable, and each character has meanings. When conveying the same information, Chinese is on average at least 30% faster than English. Save time and enjoy life. Because every Chinese character has one syllable, even if they are formed into various word phrases, expressing rich meanings, the expressions are still concise. I'll choke you with my words. For example, in Chinese, we say Gong ji, mu ji, xiao ji, ji dan. 
In English, we say cock, hen, chick, egg. If constructed according to Chinese phrases, these words in English would be male chicken, female chicken, young chicken, chicken egg. That way, it would be more time-consuming to communicate in English. More examples. 母牛烤，公牛煲，小母牛 heifer， 奶牛烤，北美野牛 bison， 亚洲水牛 buffalo。If constructed according to Chinese phrases, these words in English would be 母牛 female cattle, 奶牛 dairy cattle, 公牛 male cattle, 小母牛 young female cattle, 北美野牛 North American wild cattle, 亚洲水牛 Asiatic water cattle. Hi, I'm North American wild cattle. Are you illiterate? Of course, there are many word formations in English. 肾炎 nephritis. This is the word formation of nephritis. Nephritis has five syllables. 肾炎 has two syllables. Here is another example. 同性恋 homosexuality. This is the word formation of homosexuality. Homosexuality has eight syllables. 同性恋 has three syllables. 男同性恋 gay. 男同性恋 is abbreviated as 男同女同性恋 lesbian. 女同性恋 is abbreviated as 女同 English learners must memorize homosexuality, gay, lesbian, the three unrelated words. Chinese use the five very basic characters: 男女性恋同 to explain the relationship clearly. More examples. 火车 train， 汽车 automobile， 公共汽车 bus， 公交车 bus， 卡车 truck。卡车 is the transliteration of truck。马车 carriage。As for the difference between these horse-driven vehicles。If necessary, in Chinese, several characters will be added to explain them clearly, and they are also very concise. 四轮马车 carriage, 运货马车 cart. All these Chinese characters are very basic. Another reason for the large English vocabulary is that British English. And American English have many different expressions. It's a real head scratcher. Phonetic languages are a one-dimensional coding system, while Chinese characters are a two-dimensional coding system. Each character is like a painting that expresses a certain meaning. Chinese is very concise. For the same United Nations document, the thickness of the English document is reduced by one third after being translated into Chinese. The Chinese English subtitles in this video also show that Chinese can save 30% of paper or space. Save paper, save nature.